hello grade tens this is a lesson on functions we are going to look at the hyperbolic function a hyperbolic function is also called a hyperbola to remember it it's different from a parabola when you look at these two things like that they form an h so remember the one that forms an h is a hyperbola so what is the general formula of a hyperbolic function or a hyperbola we have y is equal to a over x plus q there you'll have a fraction and the x will be the in the denominator with a straight line the x is linear with a parabola the x is squared so with a hyperbolic function or a hyperbola the x is a fraction okay a is a constant meaning that it will be a number it can be positive or negative and q will be also a constant will also be a number so these two alphabets have different functions. A, when A is greater than zero, in maths when you say greater than zero, you mean positive. When it's positive, your function will be in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant. When A is less than zero, meaning it's negative, it will be in the second quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. So Q will be your asymptote. What is an asymptote? An asymptote is a line, a straight line, that the graph will go towards, but it will not touch. So, the asymptote will be y is equal to whatever number you'll have in Q. And then with this function, you'll have two axes of symmetry. An axis of symmetry is a line where you fold the graph, it will fall exactly on top of the other one. So, the first one is y, it's, both of them are straight lines. So, it's y is equal to x plus Q. And the other one is y squared to minus x plus q. This one is with a positive gradient because your m is 1 and it's positive. This one is a negative gradient because your m is minus 1. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a question from a previous paper and, and do it with you to see how they ask this question in an exam. Okay, uh, this is the example from a question paper 2017 November. So... The question says the sketch below shows the graph of f at x is equal to k over x plus w and g of x is equal to minus 1, min minus x minus 1. The graph of g is an axis of symmetry of f. So they are telling us this graph is an axis of symmetry of that one. Okay, th there's our graph. When you look at our graph, we see that it's in the second quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. So we expect our k to be negative. Because our k is where a was. And then the axis of symmetry, you remember that uh, we said the axis of symmetry is minus a mi mi plus q. So it means this number is our q. So already before we looked at the question, we can find some answers from the diagram and the instruction that we have given. The first question says, write down the value of w and it's one mark. When it's one mark, they expect you to either look at the graph or look at the equations and find the answer. So for number one, when you look at the equation, this is our Q. Our W is Q according to the formula of the hyperbola. It was A over X plus Q. And this is the equation of the axis of symmetry. It was minus A plus Q. So it means my Q is minus one. It means my W is minus one. So my W is equals to minus 1. That's all you do. That's why it's one mark. Uh, you don't need to do anything else. You need to know the formula for the axis of symmetry and know that this is Q. That is what Q is and see the answer from there. Okay, let's do number 2. Number 2, they say the point minus 2 and 7 lies on the function. Here's the point. It's on the function. Calculate the value of K. So when you calculate the value of whatever and the point is on the function when you have a point on a function you can substitute that in the function so this function is f at x f at x is the same as y so i can write it as y is equals to k over x but i have my w my w is minus one so this is my number two so i substitute my minus one right so i want to find k i can take the point on the graph and substitute for x and y my y is 7 is equals to k over my x is minus 2 minus 1 
So I take this to the other side. I'll get 8 is equals to k divided by minus 2. Then I cross multiply. That one multiplied by that one is minus 16 is equals to 1 times k is equals to k. So my k is equals to minus 16. So I've, I've, I've found my answer. Let's look at number 3. Right, number 3, they say calculate the x coordinate of p and q. Then it's 4 marks. Let's look at this is p. Let's look at what's happening at p and q. These two graphs are intersecting. So when they are intersecting, the graphs are equal. You equate them. So my equation for the first graph is minus 16 over x minus 1 is equal to the other graph is minus x minus 1. We equate them where two graphs intersect. And then I go, I take the one to the other side, I get minus 16 over x is equal to minus x minus 1 plus 1. That will give me 0. Minus 16 over x is equal to minus x. Then I multiply that and that. Minus 16 is equal to minus x squared. Divide by 1 both sides, 16 is equal to x squared. Then I put square root in both sides. Then I have 4. When you put a square root, both answers are, are correct. Positive 4 and negative 4 is equal to x. So these are my two x values. The question says calculate the x coordinate. They didn't say calculate the coordinate of P and Q. They only want the x coordinate. So this answer is enough. You don't have to take them and put it in the original to find the y. They ask you only for the x coordinate. So you'll get the four marks. And then for number four. Number four, they are telling you write down an equation of h. h is a function that is not there. It's a new function. But they're telling us that h at x is f at x plus 3. So I'll have h at x is equal to what is my f at x? My f at x is my hyperbola. So it is minus 16 over x minus 1. This is my f at x. And then I add 3 plus 3. So it means my h function is minus 16 over x plus 2. This is my new function. That's why it's one mark. That's all you need to do. Okay, great tens. This is the end of our lesson. I hope you practice. This is not the difficult function. You practice and if you have not have subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.